It's extremely important I uh, attempt to remove misconceptions about the basics of ballistics uh, along, you know, with the help of the physic, uh, you know, f uh, physics connotations attached to it in the backdrop of Cartesian coordinates. So uh, those of you who've done basic uh, A-level physics would be able to understand my prerogative and my intention for this video. Uh, I'd like to start off by saying uh, the... The Suat equations, x equals vt and, you know, um, uh, ut plus, and then you know, this one, this one, a and g. When, when we begin to uh, discuss uh, uh, ballistics, uh, g would be placed in, in, in instead of a. And now, but g would be negative when the object is moving from ground to up. Uh, away from the ground, away from the surface of the earth. But it would be positive when it's coming down from an area or, you know, a, a, a place above the surface of the earth, back onto the surface of the earth. <clears throat> because the convention, the Cartesian convention dictates that G is pulling the object down at the rate of 9.8 newtons per kg or meters per second squared. Um... And the pull, the downward pull is going to be positive, but the upward uh, attempt to escape from it shall be um, denoted a negative sign, just like it is in the case of momenta. Moreover, when we take this knowledge and trans translate or you know translocate it in terms of uh, uh, basic ballistics. It becomes slightly more complicated, but we need to realize that in ballistics there are four different kinds of uh, movements that are taking place. That are air to air, air to land, which is air to surface, so from a higher ground to a, you know, and then land to land, surface to surface. Uh, it starts from zero potential, ends to, uh, at a place of zero potential. And then surface to air, which is, you know, it, it remains suspended till its detonation. When it's air to air, you will get, because of the kind of momenta involved in here, you'll get either curvilinear or you'll get sort of slightly uh, straight, sort of, uh, 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 you know, but it'll be curvilinear for the most part. If it's air to land, then it'll be curvilinear and projectile. So if it's guided missile, then it'll be curvilinear and, it, you know, now, um, if it's a guided missile, it would have its own gyroscope, electronic, uh, you, know, uh, you know, these days ICBMs and hypersonics have their own uh, uh, complex nanoelectronic circuits. And if it's a guided missile, then it would be curvilinear and be able to modulate its journey along the way based on the on incoming threats. Whereas if it's an indiscriminate projectile from air, you know, a B-52 bomber or an A-10 Warthog, then it would just drop the bomb and then it would fall someplace in a projectile manner. Uh, moving on to land to land, which is surface to surface, zero potential to zero potential, it would be a typical projectile. Uh, maybe perhaps a parabola, parabola, but that's pretty much it. P parabola, yes, parabola and projectile. So it would be a, you know a complex uh, combination of parabola and project uh, and project. For simplicity purposes, uh, you'd have to classify it either as a, pro a, a, a parabola or a or a projectile motion. But look, it is a projectile nonetheless. Um, by definition, it's a projectile being you know dispensed into the atmosphere and then falling back. It is a projectile by that sense of the word, but pro it won't be projectile motion all throughout. It would be parabolic motion for the most part. And now, for the last part, if it's land surface to air, then it would be curvilinear. <coughs> Partially projectile and most uh, mostly curvilinear. But you have to <coughs> assume projectile for the first half of the, half of the journey and curvilinear for the second part of the journey. Uh, that involves first order uh, differential decay rate equations or whatnot. So, it, you know, basic differentiation would be involved in this. Um, I hope I was able to clarify it. If not, please post your questions in the comments down below and I'll take it from here. Cheers. Thank you very much. Cheers. Take it by now.